Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord and welcome again to our morning encounter. My name is Pastor Patrick and it's my pleasure again to bring us the morning encounter today. We have been looking throughout this week on the 10 virgins, five were wise and the others were foolish. And we realized yesterday that those who are wise knew that things do not always happen as they intended. So they were prepared if uh, perhaps the, the, the bridegroom will not appear uh, on time. So they took with them uh, extra oil so that just in case the bridegroom does not appear according to schedule, they were ready to wait for the all time the bridegroom would stay uh, late. And today we want to look at uh, that was an aspect of wisdom that anytime we are doing anything in life, we should know and should always give room for any eventualities. At times you think, I want to do this today, I want to do this and that, and you are put everything according to schedule. But I want to uh, encourage us and, and, to, and to caution us that at times things don't turn out as we expect. At times, things may go uh, beyond the time that we were expecting. At times, things will go beyond the budget as we were expecting. At times, things would delay beyond the timings that we had put. In such a case, wisdom will always tell us whenever we are planning things, whenever we are doing things, we should give room and look at the any eventualities on how things may turn out uh, 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 in a way that we were not expecting. And, and so today, another aspect of wisdom we are seeing from this uh, story is that wisdom will always caution us that whenever we things have delayed and we are weary and we are now drowsy and we even go to sleep, we should always know and get some backup that when we are now actually weary, when we are now uh, sleepy, when we are now drowsy, what should we do? I want to encourage us just like uh, the, why, the, the five were wise. As much as they slept, they slept in a prepared mood. Mode. At times when we are tired and we now want to take a break, don't put everything down. Make sure that when you are taking a rest, you take a rest at a position whereby you are ready. Don't take a rest at a position where you even don't know where the next move, will, uh, how the next move will look like. In, in, in the story, the five ways had their oil beside them and they knew that when the, the, the sound will be raised, when the alarm will be raised, where that the bridegroom has appeared, they knew that something is going to happen. When we look at the story, the Bible says that when they woke up, they began trimming their, their lamps and they began pouring and adding some more fuel and there they were ready to meet with the bridegroom. I want to pray for us today that as we wait, as we wait on the Lord Jesus Christ, let us, uh, 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 let us always remain at a prepared mood. Let us always be at the stage whereby if someone tells us, here comes the Lord, we are ready to meet him. I wonder what is your preparation mode? Are you ready for the Lord Jesus Christ? Suppose Christ comes today, are you ready for him? Or you've gone to sleep and you even don't know that when he comes, you know, you are not ready for his coming. I want to pray for all of us again today. Our Father and God, as we are looking into this aspect of preparing and getting ready for your second coming. 
I want to pray, Lord God Almighty, where we have gone uh, to sleep, where we have gone, uh, you, we've, go, we've gone weary, even at times we've gone weary in doing good. I pray, Father God, that your grace will be so sufficient that we may not grow weary in well-doing. I pray for my, for my viewer and my listener today that God, in such moments where we've gone to sleep, that your grace will be so sufficient that we may arise again and be ready for your second coming. May you bless us, Lord, for this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.